Hello. Thanks for tuning in. Today I want to show you how to do a design that will be perfect for your house, for your kids room, for the bathroom. You have lots of options. Uh, as you see behind me, I have a couple of uh, examples of what we're going to do today. We're going to go through a step-by-step -step process to turn out some of this magnitude. Today we'll be making a car's canvas. We're going to wrap the canvas in fabric and I'm going to get plenty of help from my wife and my son. Now we're going to go over the items that we're going to need and we're going to use. That way we can come out with a great finished product like we have here. First, I have a canvas. And you can, you can use any size canvas you like. You just need to make sure you have enough fabric to cover the canvas. You're also going to need a heavy duty staple gun. This thing I have uh, laying around the house. Uh, I use them every now and then to hang Christmas lights. But I was looking at it and I decided I need to try something different. And what I've found to become a nice little piece of art, I just want to share it with you guys. Okay, now the, the letters that we have glued to the fabric, I did that because uh, my daughter's name starts with an R. So it's a little, uh, just a little de added decoration. I have some little wooden letters. Those are foam letters that you see already glued to the art pieces in the back. Right now, I'm not going to paint. I am not going to paint the wood, but we're just gonna cover the canvas in fabric. Enjoy. And the next canvas I'm gonna cover is gonna be for my son. We're gonna do a cars theme in his bedroom. Here's the fabric. This is a half yard of fabric, and that half yard is actually longer than a half yard, as you can see. But it's like it was folded, so I got more than I bargained for. So as you can see, this canvas I could cover several canvases with this material. All right, now we're gonna to need to cut the fabric. So it's best to leave about two inches of fabric on each side of the canvas, enough to fold over so the con complete canvas can be covered in fabric. Not the back, but the front. have that done. So you want to separate your fabric. You want to make sure it's centered. It doesn't really matter which way it's up. But you want to make sure your fabric is face down on the table and your canvas on top of it. Now we're just going to need our, um, we're going to get our staple gun and we'll get started. All right, what you want to do, you want to take, take the fabric, fold it over, and use the heavy duty stapler. Press firmly down onto the back of the uh, canvas, wood, staple it in. And you want to staple it a few inches apart. Make sure it stays tight. You don't have to pull it extremely tight. But you definitely want a firm look on the front. You want to press down firmly with your staple gun so that your staples will go flat into the wood. And the 
corners can get a little tricky. Make sure you get all the staples in good and firm. Once you get to the uh, corner, you kind of want to do it like when you're wrapping gifts. My wife takes care of all the gift wrapping. So I know a little bit about it. But what you want to do, you want to peach hard the corners. Fold it over to give you a great look on the corner. There you have it, a completed version of our Disney Cars fabric wrapped canvas. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did making this video and making the canvas. Please subscribe for more videos coming your way. Thanks for watching and have a good day.